and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Blue R1 HD. Now this is, I got this phone, um, I did not get a discount or anything on this phone, I, I did purchase this phone with my money. Um, but what I did is, this is one of those uh, Amazon ad phones to where Amazon supposedly puts ads on the screen, um, the lock screen so that uh, you can get discounted on it. I know they do it with the um, like the Kindle Fires, I have a, a fifty dollar Kindle Fire, um, and it does have lock uh, ads on the lock screen. Um, I don't use that tablet very much, um, not because of the lock screen, just because I just don't use it very much. Uh, but uh, I wanted to try out a new phone, and normally this phone runs about a hundred and ten dollars. Uh, with the um, getting the Amazon ad ones, it comes out to um, sixty dollars. Now I did go with the one that has the 2 gigs of memory and the 16 gigs of onboard storage. Um, <clears throat> other than that, the two versions are identical. There's only a um, $10 difference between the two. Um, one's 40 if you get it with 1 gig of RAM and 8 gigs of memory. But the reason why I went with um, the 16 gig model is um, one of my other phones is only an 8 gig. That's an Android device and it constantly is running out of uh, storage and anytime um, an app gets updated, I have to go back in and move it back to the SD card, which I find um, extremely annoying. Go ahead and pull out uh, something to cut the tape with. I've not opened this up. I've not done anything with it. Um, if you're not familiar with blue phones, um, they often come with a lot of accessories. I'm hoping that this is uh, still the case with this phone. Um, the last blue phone I got it came with uh, headphones, came with uh, two screen protectors, a case, um, in addition to the phone itself. So open it up and here is the actual phone. It's a 5 inch screen as you saw on the box. It's got a curve on it which is neither here nor there for me. It sure feels nice. That's a, that's a nice feeling phone. It feels pretty quality without the battery. The battery is here still in the box. No, it's a battery in it. I thought that was a battery but it's just a, just a sticker. <clears throat> Let's see. Trying to open it here for you, sorry. There we go. First time opening these is always a bit nerve wracking because they're always so stiff that first time you go to open them. This one's no exception to that. Okay, okay, so the battery is integrated. So you can remove the back cover, but you cannot remove the battery. Uh, down there's a speakerphone, up there's a camera. Uh, it is dual SIM, it looks like. Yep, micro SIM 1 and micro SIM 2, which is awesome. And there's a micro SD port, so that's what you access when you remove the back. Again, the battery's not removable. It is an 8 megapixel camera on the back. Do that in the wrong order. Yeah, I think that probably has to clip in first. You need to pop in the top first and then snap it in the place the rest of the way. Let's go on to what's in the box. That's a sticker. It's got uh, model number and serial number on there. Open it up. <clears throat> uh, and that's uh, disappointing. It only comes with uh, a USB charger. Um, which I have plenty of those. I would have liked to have seen like what blue normally carry gives you which is the case and a couple screen protectors and maybe even a set of headphones so I'm kind of disappointed by that blue um, I don't know if the non Android or should be non uh, uh, Amazon version comes with those or not um, but this one definitely does not now before I actually turn it on I just want to compare it to some of the other phones I have um, just as far as fit and feel this is my Lumia 640. This is probably by far as far as specs and, and, and um, 
performance goes, this is by far one of my favorite phones ever. Um, it's been an amazing phone. Um, they both have an 8 meg megapixel camera. They both have a 5 inch screen. Um, they both have fairly good sized batteries. I don't remember specs right off the top of my head. But I think they're fairly similar as far as battery size. Um, and this is not a dual SIM on the Lumia 640 and it, the battery is removable. Which I do actually prefer a removable battery. Um, but as far as the overall feel, this this is not a stock back. This is a aftermarket back that I got. Um, just so my phone stands out. Because my wife and I tend to have the same phone. So I want something that uh, mine looks different. Because she constantly accidentally grabs my phone and is mad when uh, she can't call me. And gets voicemail. Um, <clears throat> but overall size dimensions obviously they have the same size screen so they're going to be very similar as far as size but I feel like the blue is slightly smaller um, which means you have less overhang over the screen move over to the uh, LG K7 that I have um, I've really liked this phone a lot um, as far as an Android phone goes but this has only 8 gigs of memory and as I said it runs out of space quite often I do have a case on it and so obviously the blue is going to be smaller simply because of the space taken up by the the case. And the LG K7, one of the reasons why I like it, is it, it feels like a higher quality phone and a much more expensive phone than it than it is. Um, and I feel the blue is kind of on par with that. It's a much nicer, more expensive feeling phone um, than what it cost me. This is my uh, Alcatel Fierce. And it is a fairly expensive phone, it's over $100, but it feels like a cheap phone. It is a 5.5 inch screen, and you can obviously tell the uh, size difference between the two uh, because of that. But I actually don't like this phone very much because of that. It's actually, um, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, and it's hard to touch um, the screen and, uh, and reach things on the screen when I'm browsing the web, things like that. And it feels cheap. It uh, feels much cheaper than um, it should be. It does have um, an 8 megapixel camera like the blue but and 16 uh, gigs of storage and um, 2 gigs of RAM. So spec wise it's actually closer to the blue. Um, it does have I believe a higher resolution uh, screen. So I'll compare the screens. I'll uh, power this on now. Remove some of the films. So on the here on the camera as well. See if this has any battery charge. Sometimes these come charged. Now I like the button placement. The power button is below the volume button. I actually don't tend to use the volume button as much as I do the power button. And so I like the power button being a little bit more accessible. I'll turn down the screen brightness here once it uh, lets me. Now there is a slight curve to the glass. But it's not super noticeable. Okay. I don't see any ads on it yet. I'm gonna skip the insert the card. We're gonna skip the Wi-Fi. Skip anyways. Uh, that's not correct. We'll worry about that later. Worry about that later. Worry about that later. Um, choose a screen lock. We'll just go with a pin and one, 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 one. Obviously, I'm not going to keep that. One, one, one. Since it wouldn't let me do anything else. Show all notification content. Next. Next. Oh it does require a connection to Wi-Fi. So this is where the Amazon um, stuff comes in. Let me see if I can dim the screen. No, it won't be dim the screen. So let me go ahead and set this up a little bit and then I'll come back and just go over it again with you. All right, so here is the blue R1 HD um, next to the other two Androids and Windows Phone that I um, use on a regular basis. Here's the blue, here is the Alcatel, here's the Lumia 640, and here's the um, K7, uh, LG K7. Again, 
as far as looks go, definitely the blue is a nice, um, expensive looking phone. Um, one thing though that it's missing already that I can tell it's going to annoy me a little bit, not as bad as it does on the um, Alcatel uh, Fierce, is it doesn't have a tap to wake up. And that's something that they can add in software. Uh, I know they can do it because LG has it. And LG also taps to sleep. The Lumia 640 has it, but you can't tap it to sleep. You can set it to tap this bar down here and it will go to sleep. Um, I don't have that turned on because I always accidentally uh, turned it off when I was trying to hit home or, or back. Um, <clears throat> and so you always need to uh, power it on from the power button. But since it's here on the side under the volume key, um, it's quite simple to do quite easily. Where with the Alcatel um, One Touch Fierce, it's up high. So if you're holding it with this hand, and where my finger normally would be for the power button. So the power button on the Lumia 640 is there in the center. On the blue, it's there lower in the center. And on the LG, it's actually here in the back. And this is an actually excellent location where I always thought this was kind of silly until I actually owned one that had it there. And the uh, So I can only comfortably power it on and off with my um, uh, thumb up in the upper right corner. As far as the screen goes, well, I'll go over the ads first. The ads are on the lock screen. They're not too intrusive. One thing I like about my uh, Lumia is you can set it to where, um, I don't currently have it powered on, or set on, um, but you can set it to where um, you get Bing pictures uh, for the day, which is actually really kind of nice. At least for me, I think it's kind of a neat feature, um, something I haven't seen too many other people do. Uh, the blue just has the ad on the lock screen. Oh, and if you noticed on the uh, uh, Lumia, when I unlock it, first of all, every time I unlock it, I don't have to put in the key. If it, if I've unlocked it within the last five minutes, I don't have to re-enter in my my key. And as soon as I enter it, the four digits, it unlocks. I don't have to hit OK. Where on this phone, every time you unlock it, you have to enter in your PIN and hit the check mark. And that's the same on the LG K7 as well as the Alcatel. That's an Android thing. The software on this phone is 6.0, where on the Alcatel and on the LG is 5.11 on both of these. So there's a little bit different of software version. I'm not quite sure exactly what the difference is yet, just going through it, initial impressions, they don't seem too different to me, um, but I'm sure I'll find what that difference is. So again, this is just an initial unboxing, initial impressions of this device. Um, so far, I like it quite a bit. Again, I like the, uh, the overall style and feel of the phone. It feels like a higher quality phone than what it cost me, and the ads aren't too annoying. Um, and I'm sure if you look hard enough, there's a way to uh, root it to get rid of those. But you didn't hear that from me. So the screen is nice and crisp. In fact, I think I'll have to look up the specific specs. But I think it might be a uh, oh, what's this phone doing? It might be a higher resolution than the uh, LG. If not, it, it's um, maybe a little bit nicer screen than the LG. I'll go ahead and play around with it and give you more impressions as I get a little bit more uh, time with it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.